Hello everyone, I'm Greg Otto with FedScoop TV, and we're here at the Lowering the Cost of Government Summit today, and I'm here with Dr. Michael Valagula, the CTO of the National Agricultural Statistics Service for the USDA. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Greg. Thanks for so, having me. IT is going through a modernization, especially in the government right now. Um, how can agencies accomplish modernization without ensuring um, that you know their budgets are just blown? How can we see the cost savings? When when you talk about modernization, I am uh, thinking that you are talking about infrastructure, basically. Right. So, and uh, first of all, I. I even wonder if government needs to be in the business of taking care of the infrastructure because how is that adding value? Can we find another place, private industry or someone else, who can provide that service uh, at a cost efficient manner and uh, with lots of agility because from, from what I know, if you look at the history, uh, the the government systems infrastructures don't move fast enough right. to adapt to the agile environment that we are working in. Uh, in my opinion, I think government should get out of the infrastructure managing and maintaining business and uh, focus on value. What they are, what is the value that we are providing to the customers and the U.S. citizens, and uh, try to focus on that instead of wasting our effort in managing the infrastructure. So with. Managing infrastructure, cloud computing is a big thing, of course. So it's been sold primarily as um, an efficiency tool. But talk to me about what you think cloud computing can do in terms of being a force multiplier for cybersecurity and cost savings. Sure. Uh, it is not only uh, a cost saving tool, but that, that it is part of it. And um, uh, you know, in a security arena, if you look at the um, the cloud service providers and compare it to the on-site data centers that are being managed and maintained, and I read a report recently that said it is the the on-site data centers are being hacked twice as frequently as the cloud service provider hackers, and also the um, the amount of money or the effort. That is, that is lost is being a lot more in the government or the private environment than in the cloud service. So I, I tend to believe that cloud service providers are doing a great job or a better job than the private industry or the uh, government uh, data centers. And also, they have the right type of folks and experts who can take care of that security and related uh, confidentiality and protection of information that government requires to provide. By the way, the cloud service providers are even giving us the um, uh, crypto keys for us to keep. So I don't see any reason why we shouldn't try as trust cloud service providers because they don't have any logical control of the data because they are giving us everything. All they have is physical box that they are managing and maintaining. So I don't think there is any reason for us to wonder about whether the data is secure or not because we have the keys and it is up to us to manage and maintain those keys securely. We can just give it away and right. complain to the cloud service provider that you know somebody got hacked uh, like it has happened in the recent you know, recent event. So, but uh, these things happen, but we got to be careful and manage it and govern it. Uh, identification and authorization needs to be managed right. and governed better so that, you know, these type of things don't happen. You talked a little bit about data there. Um, data primarily in government agencies has been used to sort of drive citizen services, but how can big data help cybersecurity and agencies meet their cost savings that they need to hit? Uh, there is quite a bit of talk about big data now, and uh, the amount of data is going to increase because of the Internet of Things. And if you uh, look at the reports that are coming out and uh, who you are uh, asking for that information, and uh, you, you get, uh, so I have seen that there is going to be about 50 billion devices going to be right. connected by 2020, and some other company comes up with an estimation of 80 billion devices. With all this uh, Internet of Things, the data is going to explode. But it is going to be very hard to manage that amount of data, and so at some way, government is going to be handling this data. I'm looking at using machine-to-machine -machine communication and uh, predictive algorithms and analytical tools 
to manage data better, and that's the way it needs to be uh, because the, the security data that is collected by the, uh, say for example, log files, and it's very hard for a human being to read the log files, and we need to be using machine-to-machine -machine communications. There are tools that are available. We should be looking at those to see if they, there are some behaviors that we need to be careful about and try to protect and prevent it before it happens. Great, great, very, sure. very interesting stuff. Thank you for joining us today. You're welcome, it's my pleasure. For all of our videos, you can check out our YouTube channel, and for more information, you can check out fedscoop.com. I'm Greg Otto. Thanks for watching.